I shouldn't talk to these people, no, I should, you know, this is a meeting, I should like this and I should. Why all those restrictions? You want to yawn? Yawn to your heart's content. Child yawns, no? You must see the sophisticated westernized lady. <laughs> Why that? You want to, you know, burp? Burp. It's normal. It's... You want to fart? Fart loudly. <laughs> what is there? Haven't you seen Auden's poem on farting? He says, you must know how to fart. Very nice. Auden, very big uh, English poem. He says, his poem is that, no man can smell his fart. <laughs> you can smell everyone else's fart, not yours. You, f you know, some realize, the child doesn't uh, restrict it, supposing it wants to fart, just the child doesn't say, I'll hold it on. Each time you hold it on, your blood pressure goes up. <laughs> you're holding it on, breathing against closed glottis, which is Valsalva Menor. You're almost killing yourself, remember that. Fart man, what is there? Uh -huh. No, I'm just not joking, seriously telling you. Become a child. Become a child in every aspect of it. That means your heart rate variability will come back to child sinus arrhythmia. And when once that happens, that's why that is a manas. Now the child is sent to school. Right? There, child is given some information. So what happens? You just send the child to school. School is said. This is BMI day. This is so-and-so, uh, that is so-and-so, this is so-and-so, etc, etc. And that level of the mind is called buddhi. You know what buddhi is? What you are told. You are told. You are told you should not fart in public. That is buddhi. But child doesn't have buddhi, it's a manas. It farts. So buddhi. That's why I say every newborn child is a genius, wrote Alexis Carroll, only to be converted to an idiot in school. So you become an idiot. So, in the minute you become an idiot, then you become buddhi. Then after buddhi is the next level, where buddhi creates chitta. Chitta is buddhi plus ego. <clears throat> I, I am BM Hegde. I am A, B, C, D, E, F, G or some whatever it is. That is called chitta. And that's the level you get lot of problems in the mind. Chitta, vritti, undulations. Nirodha Yoga ha, Patanjali wrote, at the chitta level, you have so much vegetation in the mind, if you can control it, put a nirod there, not the government one, it leaks, but the real one, <laughs> you, you become a sannyasi, you become so tranquil. So that's exactly what is called yoga. Chitta, vritti, nirodha Yoga ha. Yoga is not kusti. All that kusti you do, asanas, they are not yoga. Real uh, yoga is chitta vritti nirodha yoga. And yoga is not uh, joining the Atman with Paramatman, etc. etc. Actually, Patanjali was an atheist. He never believed in God. But chitta is chitta vritti nirodha yoga. So, no religion can have any objection for yoga because it's not anything to do with religion. It's just the mind. That's all. And that's very interesting to know that. And last is, what is asana for? Asana is also important. Because each time you stretch your muscles, the tendons release opioids. You relax. That's why called Stiram Sukham Asana. For constant ease, you must do Asana. So, you do Asana first and then sit and do Pranayama. You become Chitta Vritti Nirodha Yoga. So, you become a child at the end of the day and you love the whole world. And you love your enemy. That's what Jesus said. Love the enemy. You even love your enemy because you forget why you in the first place you become. A, and forgiveness comes. And forgiveness is the biggest thing. Ayurveda says, Kshamavan. Forgive. Aptopasevi bhaveta arogyam. 